Okay, welcome. Uh, my apologies. The previous uh, broadcast that I was trying to start would start, so I had to restart it. Um, then I had to reload it to the page on the website, so hopefully anybody there would try a refresh. But I guess otherwise we won't even know. <clears throat> um, so we are getting these live events going. Um, don't know whether or not anyone is in attendance right now. Uh, here at the beginning um, of this journey, and I am, uh, I guess that's what I wanted to do this morning, just <clears throat> talk about uh, getting this journey going and uh, what it feels like it means at this point. This morning I got an email, um, and I am going to try to bring that up so that you can see it. Um, it'll take a couple minutes. We can talk while I'm doing that. Um, but what I wanted to do was use a picture to show you it was, uh, what the person said. And the reason that I want to show you this <coughs> is uh, yeah, upside down, backwards. Okay, um, so there we are. The reason that I wanted to show you this was just because I developed the ICE method, or I became aware of it, I should say, <clears throat> and uh, realized that it worked for all different sorts of things, not just fibromyalgia. A friend of mine who's a healer suggested that I work with fibromyalgia because it's one of the few things, one of the few uh, places where doctors actually recognize that there's often an emotional issue from early uh, childhood that's present and has shaped a person's life, and then a trigger event somewhere in the 20s or 30s when the pain actually begins and then doesn't go away. But here's a person who was attending the talk that I gave last uh, week and wrote this. This stuff is awesome, period. I love the ICE method. And what, I mean, I love hearing that, of course, but the pieces that this person is using it on is always too anxious about being on time, um, monetary issues, uh, relationship issues, and anxieties. So during the talk and then afterwards, I remember talking to this person um, that, yes, you can really have calm as your default state. I'm now working toward the calm default. And yesterday, I did a session with a person who's uh, recovering from a bad accident, <clears throat> and it was a, a life-threatening accident. A person spent uh, many, many weeks in the hospital in his home now. And uh, so I was visiting with this person who said, you know, I'm afraid that I'm always going to have this pain with me. Now, when you, um, when you consider that statement, I'm afraid that I'm always going to have this pain, pain with me, that's something that you can really work with in the ICE method. Okay, and, and here's um, what I want to share is that I am afraid is an emotion. Now, whether you have that pain with you today, tomorrow, the rest of your life, or not, is actually not a life-threatening um, threat in the present moment. Okay, and that's when we need our fight or flight system turned on. But if we're afraid, if we're living in fear that this pain is going to be with us all the time, then the body is always following the mind. And if the body is reacting to fear, then it means the body's resources are working to protect that person against their fear. And then after we uh, use memory reconsolidation, the ICE method on that, and the person said, you know, I really don't have that fear now. Well, what's there, I asked. Paid attention again, and what surfaced was, gosh, I'm angry. Now again, you start another round with the ICE method. Why? What's going on? You might be angry at what happened to bring you to the point of having this pain, the accident, and all the hospital time, the lost time, you know, however a person interprets it. But the question for the moment is, is that an immediate physical threat to your life? That experience of having gone through this and having this pain right now? And the answer is no. It's not a tiger that's going to bite her neck off right now. And yet the body is responding to anger, fight or flight. Anger would be fight. It takes resources from the cellular makeup of the body 
to be in this angry state. Again, another round of ice, anger diminished, different aspects of the anger, a couple of rounds. I don't really feel any anger, the person told me. Now, what's different? The cells of this person's body are, are not um, reactive to those things that were reconsolidated. Are there other pieces? In all likelihood, yes. But for those pieces that we were able to use the ice method on, those are now reconsolidated with calm. The body is no longer in a reactive state to those things. And because of that, the cells, and this is Bruce Lipton, biology belief cell biologist, the cells automatically turn now towards internal maintenance because they don't have to use their energy on external concerns. That's a very important distinction and if you can have your body be in that state, especially if you're recovering from an accident or an injury or if you have an illness or an issue going on, your body is going to be so much more able to heal. I finished this day and this person said, you know, I think this could really make a big difference for my life. This could really make a big difference for me. Absolutely, in my belief, this can make a big difference for us because our cells, the 50, 100 trillion cells of the body, actually get to function differently. Function in a more healthy and healing way rather than a reactive way that consumes energy on things other than healing and wellness. So, ice method for so many things, but I'm very excited that we're also working on it for fibromyalgia. And since we're in the introduction, why did I choose fibromyalgia? Again, uh, this healer friend of mine introduced me. Um, I was able to make a contact at a clinic, do a study, make a big difference for people for, for fibromyalgia who use the ice method, and it seems an appropriate thing um, to offer. Also, just from a how do you present this stuff? Um, Woo-woo is a word that I hear so often. I'm going to show you a science clip from the presentation last week, um, second one, second part. Totally don't feel like this is woo-woo stuff. Um, it's based in science, brain chemistry. But yet that's a perception. Um, understandably so. I think it would just be very difficult to go out and start talking to people about the ICE method that being for everything. Have you ever been to one of those websites where it takes care of everything. It's much easier um, to target a specific group of people who have a specific issue and say, you know what, for that specific issue, here's a specific solution. Um, and I'm very much looking forward now to getting out in the fibromyalgia community um, online and in person <clears throat> and sharing uh, the ICE method. But I'm also really thrilled I want to hear from people and work with people uh, using the ICE method for things that are other than fibromyalgia. Because this phenomenon of memory reconsolidation is applicable really to every piece of our life. Our history, our current moment, physical issues, and emotional issues, and our perceptions about what the future is going to be like. Alright, so um, it's a thrilling time. Uh, having spent now really much of the past year preparing uh, for this time when the website's ready, launching it two days ago finally, getting great feedback and replies from people, very exciting. Um, and now this process of sharing the word. So what I'm going to do now next is to, uh, to show uh, a video from part two of the talk that I gave last weekend in Canada on memory reconsolidation, the ICE method, and the title of the talk was The Science of EFT. EFT is the Emotional Freedom Technique. Um, it's, it's a technique that I started using and then developed the ICE method out of, so very consistent with it. And I think memory reconsolidation is at play. So let me uh, pull that up and then we can watch that. There's that. Get this, uh, sorry, I had to change this a little bit when I was getting to um, that problem with the recording before. Okay, I think we're just about ready. Go up to a screen share. This is a five minute little video and um, here we go back in five okay coming up with part two of the talk that I gave at the Canadian
All right, so I'm going to stop that screen share now. See how we do that. And sorry about that. We're back. Okay. Um, <clears throat> really like to share this section of the talk. That's the science, I believe, of, of how um, this person is relieving their anxieties about finances or their anxious or activated memories uh, about a former employee, as it said in that uh, piece there, or for this person who had this life-threatening accident, how they are relieving the fear about the future and the anger about the past so that they can get back into a calm and a healing state. Um, really, really thrilled now to be able to share this. Uh, in my coming time, I'm going to be working on getting this information out. Uh, hope it's valuable to you. Hope you are enjoying using the community. Um, any questions, just uh, come into the community, drop a note. Uh, I have time at this point since we don't have a lot of members yet um, to answer all those uh, questions and and uh, personally at this point and I'm really uh, pleased to be able to be in conversation. All right, I think that's what we're going to do for today. That's what I had on my list. Um, I'll be back again next Tuesday and then going to take next Thursday off for Thanksgiving. So see you next Tuesday live at uh, nine o'clock Pacific noon. Um, uh, Eastern time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.